Alrighty, today I am going to prune these back for two reasons. One, they need pruned desperately. And two, I dug them up and moved them down here yesterday, so this will be part two. If you didn't see the video of me doing that, I'll put a link to it below. So make sure you go back and watch it. <clears throat> um, main thing I want to do with these is um, I want to prune them pretty heavily. Um, I know it's going to hurt our berry production this year, but they're going to be hurt anyways because of digging them up and moving them. But anywhere they're rubbing, like this limb here is rubbing all over this limb, so I'm just going to cut it off. You can see there how it's rubbing on there. And for the sticks, I'm just going to let them lay. So any of them like that's rubbing up against that, you know, you want to get rid of that. Actually, I'll just take it all clear down here. Actually, I'll just take that whole limb off. Same with these two. <clears throat> There's some old kiwi vine twined in amongst this thing from when it was back behind. So until you get done getting all them, it might look a little more bare than it was. Oh, it'll look a lot more bare than it was. But it needs it to... It needs pruned. It needs pruned for, it's going to prune itself because it's, some of these limbs is going to die off. So I want to make sure what dies off is what I want to die off, not what the plant necessarily wants to, to kill off. And then, and in this area, nothing's going to start growing nothing's gonna start the blooms ain't gonna open up or none of that for at least two and a half more months at a minimum These needed done for quite a while. It has. Where they were, though, on that steep bank, it's too hard to even get to them. Down here, we can manage them better. Oh, yeah, for sure. And we have more deer down here, so they'll have more food. <laughs> wow. What a difference just that made. Take this one through down here. Yeah, that's a whole lot better already. Yeah. And it ain't going to hurt this any. Like I said, it's going to slow production this year. And it may even slow a little bit of production next year, but it's all in all, it ain't going to hurt anything. So it looks like I have pretty near all the troublesome ones this one here this one. I think unless my lovely lady sees something I missed I don't think so I think I got all I'm gonna prune off of this one <clears throat> And I may come out 
once everything, and actually I probably will come out once everything starts growing and prune them, prune them again. Because there'll be some of these limbs that'll, that won't have no leaves or nothing on them, and I'll get rid of them. So I'm going to go through and do that to the rest of those, which shouldn't take too terribly long. I'm going to get some wood chips and put around each one of them. I'll bring you back when I put the wood chips around it, and I'm just going to go through and prune right now. So my lovely lady's got to go in the house and get lunch ready for her mom to come down. Okay, so I just put a layer of cardboard down, and I'll, uh, it's extremely muddy here, so I'm going to put a piece down this new one like I did earlier, and it's just, I just cut a, cut a slot and flat, just flopped it over, and did the same thing to both of them. Fit perfect. Well, naturally. <laughs> Man, the old trusty knife does a great job. Oh, so I'm gonna put wood chips in. I got a wheelbarrow full. That one wheelbarrow probably won't do this plant. This is a pretty big plant. The next one's even bigger. Um, I'll probably put it on there, roughly so thick, and I'll keep it away from the roots. I'll keep it away from here somewhat. I mean, I'll still put some in here, but I'm not gonna pile it up this high right here. I'll put like a little mound there, so. I don't want I don't want the wood chips rotting ending up my uh, the bottom of my plant. We try to always have wood chips on hand. And like I said, I'll put a little bit in here, but not, not like I am everywhere else. That'll do several things. It'll keep water, make a natural funnel. And it'll keep it from rotting out the base of the tree, or in this case, blueberry bush. And I'm gonna need not quite a whole wheelbarrow, but at least half of one. That looks pretty good. That's gonna look good when we're done. Oh yeah. And I'm gonna get fill up another wheelbarrow. That right there is all that needs. These, are, these wood chips actually are partly frozen. But we're almost out of them. I should have enough to finish the blueberries, but I will not have enough to do anything else. But that's going to look pretty good when we're finished. I think it is. Yeah. It'll be way easier to take care of the take care of them and everything else down here too now. So there, one down, five to go. <clears throat> so this is the last one. I almost didn't have enough cardboard, but it's going to be all right. It's not like you really have to have the cardboard anyways. 
just helps with weeds and water retention. Or, yeah, it helps with weeds. The wood chips will take care of most everything as far as water retention and the weeds, too, as far as that goes. These wood chips are partially frozen. It's extremely muddy over here. My boots probably weigh 30 pounds now. <laughs> Good enough. We still have some wood chips. Didn't have a whole lot when I started this. Um, I didn't think we'd have enough for me to do the blackberries, but I do. And when I do the blackberries, I'll probably bring you along for that too. No more of them than what there is. It may or may not be a two part like this is. Not a real big blackberry thing, and I like them. But I would much rather have raspberries, strawberries, and blueberries than blackberries. But I'll eat any of them. Especially gr grown organically, like we do. Organically, like we do, and uh, local. Like these are. A lot of what you buy in the store isn't isn't local or organic. In fact, most of that stuff isn't. You can turn around so you can see my face better. There. Not blinding me, but I think you can see me better that way. But anyways, I wanted to show you what the finished product looked like. So hopefully you can see these. The sun's so bright I can't really see it in the viewfinder. I can tell they're there, but and we got a space like 15 16 foot somewhere in there then another one i stepped about five and a half steps between each one but they all look good um and i'll probably have to prune some more come spring just because or come summertime rather sorry um just because a lot of those like i said earlier a lot of these will die off that nurse probably already did i could probably cut it off but a lot of these were dead from before and a lot more will die because they've been root pruned pretty much. Their roots are went through went through holy crap, especially these two bigger ones. They uh the two big ones the two big ones actually I'd be surprised if they don't die back a fair bit more than what they already are. Um sorry for moving the camera around. I'm trying to get it balanced better. I'd be surprised if they don't die back more than what they are which is fine um it'll stunt their growth for a little while but it won't kill them I'm, I'm i truly believe every one of these down here will live unless the deer eats them up and they may i mean i, I can't control what the deer do um but they look good out through there hopefully you can see those in that line look nice they're not perfectly straight i didn't stretch a string or nothing the middle one's up just a little bit too far but that's fine it's not a big deal um but anyways, I'm going to wrap it up here. So if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. It helps a lot. Share this with your friends and family. And like I said at the beginning of this, if you didn't watch the first part, you should have watched it already. It, there will be a link below. Um, yeah, so anyways, until we meet again, take care and God bless.